Hey everybody! What if I told you that there is one thing that we can all do that will help every weekday morning go smoother, help every workday move forward without as much thought and decision making, and even help you to be a healthier person? If that sounds interesting, stick with me and we're going to talk about meal prepping our workday lunches. Let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Krista Smith and I'm on a mission to help ambitious women thrive as leaders by sharing what I've learned and am still learning as an executive, a lifelong optimizer, and a beauty school wannabe. So let's talk a little bit about meal prepping. It's one of those things that all of us know about but until you've done it, might feel a little bit intimidating. And today I want to work on making it not as intimidating for you to give it a try. I have figured out for me how to simplify meal prepping as much as I think anybody possibly has. Anytime I've watched other videos on how to do meal prepping, it looks so incredibly complicated to where there's you know homemade, homemade salmon and grilled veggies and wonderful, beautiful meals. But I can tell you that it'd probably take me an entire day to make a week's worth of lunches. And so what I am going to be sharing with you today are a few batches of meals that I have made, both for my own lunches and then also for my kids. I have two teenage boys and they just eat a tremendous amount of food. And so just keeping the refrigerator stocked with food that they will eat because their criteria for whether or not there's food in the refrigerator is not whether there are ingredients in the refrigerator. It's whether or not there's something in the refrigerator that they can reach in, open the refrigerator, reach in, grab and start eating. Sometimes even heating in the microwave is a little bit too much for them. So the first thing that you will need to prep some meals is some meal prepping containers. I recommend ordering these off of Amazon. Sometimes you can find them in your grocery store. You can probably always find them in your local Target. But for me and probably for all of us, just order them. You'll get a great price on them and they'll be delivered to your door in a couple days. You can usually get the packs of 10, maybe even 20, I would say start with a pack of 10. And they're the containers, you can get the containers that have the dividers in them, or just the containers that look like this. This is actually one frozen meal that I put together yesterday as a batch of about 12 different meals that will last me a good three weeks at work. So get those ordered early in the week so that on the next weekend, when you run to the grocery store, you will have the containers that you need in order to do your meal prep. Now, once you're at the grocery store, consider approximately how many lunches you wanna make. If you wanna make five, enough for one week, or maybe 10, I like to make 10 to 15 at a time because usually that'll end up lasting me for about a month because not every single day at work do I need a lunch. There might be a special lunch out or leftovers that I wanna bring. But if you aim for about that much, let that guide you when you're at the grocery store. Now for me, and again, this is the most simplified version of meal prepping, I do some form of lean protein and vegetables. Sometimes, depending on what meal kind of plan I'm following, I do Weight Watchers a lot, and I try to keep my lunches within the boundaries of free Weight Watchers foods. And so on Weight Watchers, the legumes, so all of your beans are free also, and so sometimes I will put those into my lunches. But essentially it's some combination of vegetables, lean protein, maybe some legumes, maybe some kind of soy protein also. Just kind of depends on what I see, what's on sale, what I'm in the mood for. Now, some people, when they're meal prepping, they will definitely prep a whole lot of different types of meals so that every day they have a different lunch. For me, when I'm at work, I usually, it's more eating to live rather than living to eat. Now, don't get me wrong, outside of work, believe me, I love eating. But at work, it's about feeding my body and 
being able to stay engaged with the work that I'm doing and not having to think about it. And so if I can get that healthy lunch prepared beforehand, and then just take a whole bunch of meals to work, depending on how much freezer space there is at your works freezer, then I don't have to think about it and I can automate it. And that is a tip that I use for almost everything that I can possibly think of in life is how can I automate this thinking process so that I don't have to make a decision in the moment. If you, I'm sure that everybody's heard, you know, that Mark Zuckerberg or President Obama or, you know, all, it's kind of the cool thing to do now if you're a super famous CEO is that they wear the same thing every day. What they're trying to do is that they are working to streamline their decision-making process so that they don't spend decision-making energy on decisions that can be predetermined. And that's essentially what we're doing with our food. And so I'm going to show you a few different pictures of batches of meals that, I'm, that I have prepped and I will talk you through them. With most of the meals that I prep, I start with just a whole bunch of lean protein. Here I have some chicken that I asked my husband to throw on the smoker at the same time that he was cooking dinner on Saturday night. Then I grab a whole bunch of already pre-frozen vegetables, sometimes some canned beans, sometimes some canned tomatoes, whatever is healthy, low in sugar, free on Weight Watchers, tastes good, and I put them all together in the meals. Now you may wonder why I don't just buy lean cuisines and that's totally fine, buy the lean cuisines. What I normally find is that it's not enough food to keep me full and that they're not usually free on Weight Watchers. They don't have enough vegetables, they don't have enough lean protein. And for a really low cost, not a whole lot of thinking, I can build my own that end up being healthier and fill me up better. You can vary the sauces, you can vary the seasonings, you can vary the vegetables and the beans and whatever ingredients you have, the proteins. The main thing is buy in bulk if you can to save money and don't overthink it. One thing that's super great is that you only have to do all of the dishes once. Here's a set of meals that I made with tofu instead of chicken and a little bit of tomato sauce. Here's some tomato sauce that I put peppers into. And here are some meals that I made for my boys, spaghetti and meatballs, nice and filling so that they have them in the fridge. So I hope that all of those examples were helpful to you, that they have made it so that meal prepping doesn't seem that intimidating and that it's something that all of us can do to make our lives run more smoothly when we hit go at the beginning of a work week. If you find my content helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button, subscribe to the content, write a review, share it with a friend, and please let me know what other types of content would be helpful to you as we all work to be ambitious and successful in our careers and our families and our lives. Have a great week.